Hi there, Ian Dixon here, how are you today? Uh, today I'm gonna to do something slightly different. Um, I'm gonna try and do an abridged review of a business book um, in seven minutes. So by the time we've done an intro and an outro, we'll probably be eight or nine minutes, but I'm gonna try and give you an abridged review of Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People in seven minutes. So um, if you've not read that book, or if you'd like to hear my abridged uh, review, then stick around. Um, it is without doubt one of the best life stroke business books uh, I've read that's in my library. Uh, so I thought let's do it a little bit of justice and see if we can cram in an abridged review of Stephen Covey's Seven Habits in seven minutes. Uh, please do click subscribe and ding the bell and if you're ready we'll get going so um, uh, habit number one from Stephen Covey's seven habits of highly effective people um, by the way this is the book um, habit number one is to be proactive so is to basically get up and do things proactively rather than reactively. We live in a world now where we have so much coming at us, it's quite easy to sit back and allow, allow things happen. In fact, I work with a lot of businesses that actually they, they do their marketing reactively. So they basically respond to what's happening to them rather than proactively go out and do stuff. So it's really interesting how much now is done reactively rather than being proactive. Covey's habit number one is to be proactive. Make conscious decisions about what it is you're going to go and do. Set goals, meaningful goals, and go out and make it happen. Proactivity. Number two, one of my favorites. <clears throat> Always start with the end in mind. Now, this is essentially your goal setting concept. Um, I, when I first read this and sort of stripped it back, um, I took it to a whole new level. So. Basically, uh, for many years, I used to get up in the morning and before my day had started, I would work out what sort of day I've had. So always start with the end in mind, stripped right the way back to every single day. So, so decide, um, you know, I would mentally walk through my day and assess what's good, what's bad, um, what's gonna go well, what's gonna be challenging and interesting, where's my learning gonna come from, and basically walk through my day so and make a decision about when you get to the end of that day what's what will it what will have been the outcome so stripping it right back to always start with the end in mind so uh, that's that's habit number two number three i've got them all written down so number although i know these off by heart i promise you so I, i'm a big big fan of this book number three is first things first and there's a fabulous um grid in the book that talks about things that are urgent or important or not urgent and not important and actually if you read the book it makes complete sense it's a fabulous uh, time uh, management or task management strategy um, and ultimately we want to get into a not urgent but important uh, mindset and um, uh, create environments where we're doing things that are not urgent but they're important. I haven't got time to go into detail, it's a big section in the book, it makes complete sense if you read it. Uh, first things first, doing things that are not urgent and important is the key. I'll do a whole video just on that one because it's a great time management tip. Number four is find the win-win. Stephen Covey's habits, seven, uh, seven habits of highly effective people. Number four is look for the win-win. Uh, in business, this is a critical one. Uh, even just in the last few days, I've sat down with somebody that was in a win-lose scenario. Uh, they're looking to sell their business and the buyer has offered up a win for him and a loss for her uh, situation. And I said, rather than go back and try and find yourself a win-lose so that you're then got one up, go in with a very... Um, win-win attitude and find ways to make it work for both of you so so many times i've seen um uh, win-wins uh, what they tend to do a win-win if you can get the win-wins working uh, you get so much more longevity things last so much longer so from a relationship perspective in business finding the win-win is uh, stephen covey's habit number four uh, number five um, is a marriage saving tip so for all you married business owners out there, 
Uh, number five is for you. It is seek first to understand and then be understood. Just I, it's, if I could only have one tip, uh, it would probably be this one. Seek first to understand and then be understood. Uh, all too often when we become, and, and the, the example that he gives in the book, it, it puts the hairs up on the back of my neck. It's just incredible. So um, the, uh, all too often in life, we, we get agitated, angry, aggrieved, and uh, we want to get our point of view across. And uh, often our emotion, emotional self will tsunami the, the other individual. Uh, with how they feel about something uh, without necessarily understanding in full detail what the other person might tell us. So just putting this habit in front uh, just for a second and hearing that those cogs turn when you're just about to like get in at somebody is to seek first to understand and then be understood. Um, and you know the line that uh, the coachy line that I'm often heard to say is just help me understand that in a little bit more detail or can you explain that to me a bit better or uh, explain that to me or help me understand that before so that you've got all the information before you then share uh, your view on it so it's like I, it's one of my all-time favorites it's just helped me out so much over the years um, number six is synergize. So again, it's another just amazing um, ha um, habit that if you embrace uh, can make all the difference. It's essentially where, um, how best to describe it, where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. So, so bringing people together, bringing uh, concepts together, where individually they're okay, but once you bring them all together, uh, the sum of their, uh, the, the, the whole of, uh, of, the, of the thing that you've pulled together is infinitely better than the sum of its parts. Um, synergize essentially is Covey's habit, but what he means by that is um, the whole thing, you know, it's, I, I guess if you strip it right back, it's two and two equals five. So that's essentially synergize. Um, and then the last one, again, there's a fabulous story in the book, is sharpen the saw. Um, I'll abridge that just very briefly. Um, it's about, um, uh, you know, your, uh, if you're a business owner, your business will only ever grow to your level of incompetence. So, and Sharpen the Saw is about uh, self-development, self-education, self-improvement. And uh, all too often we'll, we will use uh, lack of time as a reason for not doing these things. And actually um, it's a, a really important element of growth and development and uh, the growth and development of your business is for you to constantly be striving to be as sharp uh, as you can be. And the analogy he uses in the book is there's a guy chopping down trees, sawing down trees, and somebody says to him, uh, if you were to sharpen that saw, you would be able to saw down so many more trees. And he says, I haven't got time to stop and sharpen the saw because I've got all these trees to, to saw down. So, so it's just this horrible loop of not taking time out. And actually, if you were to take a little bit of time out, just how much more productive would you be if you are smarter, leaner, um, more educated, and what have you. So there you go proactive, always start with the end in mind, seek first to understand and then be understood, look for the win-win, uh, first things first, um, synergize and sharpen the saw. Stephen Covey's Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, a fabulous book, abridged in seven minutes for you. Hope you found that useful. If you did, there's plenty more to come. We'll be doing lots of books. Please do click on the subscribe and ding the bell and we'll catch up with you on the next video. Bye for now.